This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.5. Your instructors can now choose to annotate assignments in a full screen view. When evaluating an assignment, instructors can click Toggle Full Screen. To exit full screen, click Toggle Full Screen. Your instructors can now opt out of using annotations on an assignment-by-assignment -assignment basis without requesting a configuration change from you. When creating or editing an assignment folder, your instructors can now navigate to Annotation Tools and choose whether to enable annotations on an assignment-by-assignment -assignment basis. You now have more control over who can modify the core properties of an assignment. To support additional roles such as Facilitator, a new Manage Delivery permission has been added to Assignments. Roles with Manage Delivery and See and Manage Assignment Submission Folders permissions are now able to access the Add Edit Assignment page and are limited to editing the Start Date, End Date, Due Date, Visibility Status, and Notification Email of Assignments. All roles with the Add Edit Assignment Submission Folders permission are automatically assigned the Manage Delivery permission. This feature partially implements PI items D1620, D4721, and D4408. As of May 31st, 2019, Binder is no longer supported by D2L and will be removed from the app stores. Users who already have Binder can continue to use it. No maintenance or updates of the app will be available. The D2L Preferences font face configuration variable is removed from the config variable browser and font style can no longer be changed. There is a new assessment quality dashboard available in the Insights portal. For more information, review the release notes. Three new checklist data sets are available. For more information, review the release notes. Your instructors can now save feedback in draft state when assessing discussions. To maintain a consistent evaluation experience, instructors can now save assessment feedback in draft state in discussions. Note, the Save Draft button does not appear when a discussion topic is only associated with a rubric. The D2L Tools System Features Grading Experience configuration variable is now set to automatic transfer of rubric score to grade item by default. Additionally, all organizational overrides are removed and this configuration variable is inaccessible to organization administrators. When your instructors assess activities against a rubric, the rubric scores are automatically transferred to the grade item score. You can now add percentage ranges to learning outcome achievement scales ensuring a consistent assessment of learning outcomes when they are associated with rubric criteria in an activity. When creating a new scale, edit the title and number of levels if required. Navigate to Levels of Achievement. Now, when editing the scale, you can assign percentage ranges to each level. This helps ensure your organization applies a consistent mapping structure for assessing learning outcomes. Edit the levels and enter the percentages you want to apply. When you are ready, click Save and Close. A number of changes have been made to course assignment and restriction in Manager Dashboard. For more information, review the release notes. The functionality of the Org Unit Editor has been expanded and improved. For details, review the release notes. Users who use Portfolio with a screen reader will experience the following improvements. The back button is more easily discovered and screen readers can now focus on the button. The menu dialog box can now be accessed with keyboard only navigation. There is now improved feedback during the file upload process to indicate progress. Page titles now update to reflect the various portfolio pages and screen readers can now navigate between evidence tiles for evidence without a title. Quick Eval is a new tool that allows evaluators to see a list of unevaluated learner submissions from all of their courses in one location. To enable Quick Eval for your users, you must enable the Quick Eval tool in Organization Tools, set the View Quick Eval Quick Eval permission at the organization level, 
and a quick eval link must be added to org level navigation. In quick eval, all ungraded submissions display. To view submissions, the evaluator must be explicitly rolled in the course in a non-cascading role. Submissions can be sorted by learner name, activity name, course, or submission date, and can be filtered using filter. To evaluate submissions, click a learner's name, evaluate the submission. You can publish the learner's score or save draft. For this example, click Save Draft. To return to Quick Eval, click Back to Quick Eval. A draft icon will appear next to a learner's name when an evaluation is saved as draft. As you complete and publish evaluations, they will no longer display in Quick Eval. When all evaluations have been completed, Quick Eval will display a You are all caught up message. The Preview Quiz Builder experience will now allow users to add and import questions. Note, D2L does not recommend using this feature in live production courses in its preview form. From the Add Edit Questions page, with the new Quiz Builder experience enabled, you can now see Add and Import Question Workflows. Click Add and select New Question. Then, select the question type. Enter your question details, then click Save. Your question displays. Your instructors can now evaluate quiz attempts in full screen mode. Instructors will now experience the quiz attempt evaluation experience in full screen. Instructors can now assess learners on learning outcomes aligned to rubric criteria. This feature requires the new D2L tools learning outcomes, LOA suggestions, configuration variable. To begin the assessment, click the associated rubric. Rubric criteria with standards aligned will display the standards icon. Select the levels achieved. Then, click Close. Navigate to Standards to view the suggested level of achievement. The rubrics grading experience is now available for group assignments and group discussions. When a rubric assessment is in draft state, the assessment is not viewable by members of the group. Once feedback is published, all group members can view the rubric. Additionally, the assessment symbol on the Grade All screen now launches the assignment assessment experience for non-file submission assignments that are connected to the gradebook.